Today we're taking a look at the New Jersey Devils vs. Washington Capital match, which is happening on Sunday, April 4, 2021 at 3.05 p.m., and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. The Capitals will reacquaint themselves with the Devils on Sunday afternoon, a team they are 7-0-0 against this season. That the Capitals are unbeaten against the Devils, including two wins past regulation, is a little surprising to me given how the games have been played this season. I feel the Devils have certainly competed with the Capitals at a level that would normally have earned them a few more points on average, and at least a single win. The run of mainly tough losses against the Caps continued Friday night for the Devils. Washington secured a 2-1 overtime win as Dmitry Orlov scored a 3-on-3 three -three winner deflected off of Jaeger Sharangovich's stick. Orlov collected a rebound off of a beautiful save from Vitek Benesic, who robbed Travis Ike on a great cross-crease feed from Park Subban to preserve the game. The Washington Capitals have been playing very well in the early stages of this season and one reason has been the play of center Nicholas Backstrom, who has been playing extremely well to begin the season. The team is relatively healthy as they only have Mihao Kempney listed on the injury report with a season-ending injury. Backstrom leads the team in points and assists as he has 38 points this season and has been playing well as he has 4 points in his last 5 games. In his last game against the New Jersey Devils, he finished without a point while attempting 2 shots in 1833 on the ice. Backstrom has shown the ability to be one of the best players and it'll be time to see if the Devils can stop him on the defensive side with their average defense at this point of the season. The Washington Capitals look for a win after winning 11 of their last 14 games. The Washington Capitals are averaging 3.4 goals per game and are scoring on 24.7% of their power play opportunities. Alex Ovechkin leads Washington with 18 goals, Nicholas Backstrom has 25 assists, and John Carlson has 93 shots on goal. Defensively, the Washington Capitals are allowing 3.1 goals per game and are killing 81.7% of their opponent's power plays. Elyasim Sonov has given up 31 goals on 297 shots faced and Vitek Benesic has allowed 67 goals on 723 shots. Vitek Benesic has been the starting goalie for the Washington Capitals this season and has been doing well. In the last game against the New Jersey Devils, he allowed one goal on 23 shots and an overtime win to bring his record to 15-6-3 so far this season. On the season, he allowed 67 goals in 723 shots. Washington has allowed 113 goals this season, which is 18th in the league. The New Jersey Devils lost for the second consecutive time, but still extended their current point streak to three fixtures after being edged out with a 2-1 overtime score by the Washington Capitals at Prudential Center on Friday. The Devils killed both of their penalties, but were outshot by almost a double and went 0-2 for two with a man advantage, eventually lighting the lamp just once through Michael McLeod, who tied the game at 1-1 at 12.53 of the second period before both Jack Hughes and Travis Dyke hit the post ahead of Washington's winner. The New Jersey Devils will look to rebound from the loss to Washington last time out. Pavel Zaka and Ty Smith each have a team-high 19 points with Smith logging a team-high 17 assists while Jesper Bratt has 18 points with 15 assists. Kyle Palmieri has 17 points with 8 goals and 9 apples while Yana Kuokkanen and Jack Hughes each have 16 points and Miles Wood has a team-high 11 goals. As a team, New Jersey is averaging 2.4 goals on 29.6 shots with a 13.1% success rate on the PP while allowing 3 goals on 32.1 shots per game with a 72.7% success rate on the park this season. Goalie Mackenzie Blackwood made 38 saves on Friday and has now gone 9-9-3 for the ongoing campaign with a 2.82 GAA and a .913 save percentage. He has picked up a 1-6-1 previous total against the Capitals with a 3.34 GAA and a .885 save percentage. The Devils, meanwhile, are netting the fourth lowest quantity of goals per game this season, while giving up the 14th highest amount in their defensive zone. 
the team is fourth worst in power play with a 12.9% success rate and second from the bottom in penalty kill with 73.3% efficiency. So here are my betting suggestions for that game. After a two-game losing skid, during which the team allowed a whopping 13 snipes, Washington regained its usual composure on Friday, edging out New Jersey with a minimal 2-1 overtime score, looking in control of the proceedings all throughout the whole 64 and a half minutes of play. The resurging confidence of the Capitals, of course, brings bad news for the Devils, who are still yet to beat Washington this season. They have also struggled against other sides from the top part of the NHL table, losing six of their past eight matchups versus opponents with a winning percentage above the .600 mark. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Washington Capitals minus 1.5. The Capitals are 9-3 in their last 12 road games and 16-5 in their last 21 overall. The Devils are 17 to 35 in their last 52 home games and 1 to 4 in their last 5 overall. The over is 4-1-1 in Capitals last 6 road games. The under is 9 to 3 in Devils last 12 overall. The Capitals are 5 to 1 in the last 6 meetings in New Jersey and 25 to 5 in the last 30 meetings. The favorite is 38 to 13 in the last 51 meetings. My second betting advice for that game is to pick under 6. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.